The author of We Three Kings of Orient Are first began his career in New York as a reporter with every intention of becoming a lawyer. But instead, John Henry Hopkins entered the General Theological Seminary of the Episcopal Church, neatly ensconced behind these walls at 175 Ninth Avenue in New York. After his graduation in 1850, he became the seminary's first music teacher, as well as editor, of the Church Journal. We Three Kings of Orient Are, among a number of religious titles included in Ron Clancy's American Christmas Classics, is one of the few carols whose theme is primarily about the visit of the kings or wise men to the Christ child in Bethlehem. Written in 1857 as Kings of Orient, the original title, it was first published in 1863. The new carol quickly gained recognition outside the United States, especially in England, where it was the only American carol published in Christmas carols new and old, a landmark 1878 collection. The Reverend Hopkins wrote the carol as a Christmas gift for his nieces and nephews while he served as an instructor of church music for the General Theological Seminary. Because the music has an archaic flavor, the carol is often thought of to be older than it actually is. Plus, the unique structure of Hopkins' carol allowed the kings to have direct speech and an opportunity for drama, as bass, baritone, and tenor voice parts. The journey of the three kings as wise men, or magi, a class of priestly astrologers and magicians of Persia, appears in the New Testament in St. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. During the early days of the Christian church, the exotic story of the three kings caught the popular imagination and the three acquired names. Caspar, or Gaspar, the king of Tarsus, Melchior, the king of Arabia and Nubia, and Balthasar, the king of Saba, or Sheba. In Europe, an interesting custom developed over the centuries regarding the three kings. On the day of Epiphany, or January 6th, parish churches blessed and distributed water and chalk for the blessing of homes. The water was used in remembrance of baptism. The chalk was used to mark over the front door the initials of the three kings and the numerals of the new year, such as 20 plus C plus M plus B plus 09 for the year 2009. From the greatest palaces to the humblest dwellings, the chalk marks were the same for all, and intended to lead the three kings, should they return, to easily find where Christ would be, in our hearts and minds. Today, this tradition is reenacted by tacking over the top of a home's front entrance door the first Christmas card received with the three kings on it. One additional note about the General Theological Seminary. The father of Clement Clark Moore, best known as the author of the delightful children's poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, donated the land. Clement Clark Moore served as a professor of Oriental and Greek literature from 1823 until he retired in 1850. Moore's poem was put to music in 1942 by Ken Darby, with the song title of Twas the Night Before Christmas. That, too, is part of Ron Clancy's highly acclaimed American Christmas Classics. <laughs>